guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Okay guys, are you ready for painting 17 in our 30 paintings in 30 days project? I think this is gonna be a really fun one. So this is gonna be inspired again from our um, inspiration notebook. This is one of like six of them that I have. Um, these are mostly filled with pictures I took. Occasionally you'll see a magazine photo on them, but usually pictures I took. And then colors associated uh, with those pictures that I feel inspired by those pictures. So then I've used the um, acrylic colors to create sort of a paint palette, an inspiration page, as you will, of colors and shapes and images, uh, light and shadow inspired by those photos. So this particular one is taking out the French doors in my family room at sunset. And we're gonna do something inspired by that. So we're gonna set this up over here. We've got our paints in front of us and we're gonna get started. So let's start with the background, which is very bright. Whoops, our book is falling over again. Okay, we're gonna start with Jane Tav Davenport, the yellow that's in here, which is Jane Davenport's Buzzy, which is a very bright yellow. We're going to add some water to it. I don't want it to go up too high. I'm going to, like with the last painting, I'm not gonna dry it, I'm just gonna blot it a bit. Then I'm gonna go in with um, Holbein's Permanent Yellow Orange. And again, some water. And then I'm gonna not blot that one. I'm gonna go in with Jane Davenport's Best Friend, which is a pink. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with Daniel Smith Cobalt Violet, which is a pinky purple. Okay, then on the very top, we are gonna go in with, um, I'm gonna try Van Gogh Cerulean Blue. I'm not sure that's exactly the right blue, but we're gonna just, we're, these are study paintings, right? So we're experimenting and playing and we're having fun while we're doing it. So I am going to take my rag and blot that blue just a little bit because I think it's a lot of paint. Okay, now we're gonna dry it. Okay, now we're gonna um, switch to, I think I'm gonna use the tiny round number one brush we've been using, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of the green, what is this, Jane Davenport Water Spirit, to this blue-gray I've got on the palette already. And I wanna just sort of gray up the green it just a little bit, and we're going to, add some water to it so it's not so dry. <laughs> that would be handy. Okay. And we're going to, I just have, I live near the woods. I live next to a wild open space. There is homes behind me and there is an easement between our house and the homes behind us. And in that easement we have um, trees and Lots and lots of blackberry bushes, <laughs> and I mean a lot. So we're gonna just suggest some sort of organic shapes here. I'm just flicking the brush up. I'm pull grabbing some pigment out of the palette, which is just off camera, I think, 
and I'm starting actually on the tape and push, touching the brush to the tape and then pulling it up and lifting it as I pull. And as I'm going along, I'm mixing more of the gray into this green to get a darker tone. So we have a variety of tones and interesting shapes. Okay, then I'm going to take my, oops, little palette of color. I'm gonna add some water to it. We're gonna go and we're gonna frame that. Now I am gonna grab some of Jane Davenport's color ink. I keep wanting to call it inky. I don't know why I wanna call it inky. I'm gonna to touch that some to the, the frame that we just painted around the edge. Okay, I'm going to switch to a round brush and we're going to dry that first before I do this next part. All right, I'm going to get a straight edge, something I never do when painting. I'm going to go right in with inky. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, and that's definitely not going to be, but um, if you want a semi-straight line, that's a good way to try to get one. Just grab a straight edge. You know, especially if, like me, you don't have the steadiest hand all the time on the planet. I'm just darkening up the edge of the windowsill. Now you will notice as you're doing all of these paintings that your colors dry a bit differently than they do going than they look going on the page. So part of doing, you know, studies and practicing with your different mediums is learning the properties of the medium and how, what they are like wet, what they're like to work with when they're wet, what they're like when they're dry. If you're going to try to work with them after they've dried, what that's like. These little painting studies are great for that, along with being practice for refining your shapes and shadow and light and all of that stuff. 
That's pretty good. So let's give that a try. Okay, time to pull the tape. Let's see what happened. On this one, I hope nothing bled under the tape because I really want a crisp edge, but we'll see. So far, so good. Yay! So there you go. I like that one a lot. So that is painting number 17. Speed fruit through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.